gentlemen. Great to see you. Bunny. How are you? Great Love to see that you name, too. Bunny. Love that Let's name. Barry, we've been hanging out in L.A. over uh, over the last little month. My goodness, I, I don't even know how you're keeping your eyes open, how tired you must My eyes are. aren't open. What are you on about? <laughs> so listen, guys. All right, wake up. Sorry, what? <laughs> Uh, thank you. So, yeah, it's very, very all the time, but it's all good, Raph. We're going to give you your due today, yes. I promise you. Um, <laughs> listen, this series is absolutely brilliant. I watched the entire thing. It just blew me away. And Raph, I want to start with you because I love a series where I can Google after every episode because it's real people here. Mm -hmm. What kind of pressure, you know, where do you even start to get into the mindset of this young man who, who really lived and was... Uh, you know, one of these amazing heroes. 100%. I mean, the process started really, well, I mean, from boot camp and kind of understanding us as like a brotherhood and a camaraderie and a unit, then to go away and really kind of put myself into Ken Lemon's shoes and get my head around being a 19 year old um, in charge of so being responsible for so many lives um, and yeah. reading his book, The Forgotten Man, gave me a lot of kind of information to and, and just kind of inner narratives and how he was feeling when the planes go off on the missions and it's quiet on the air on the air airfield and um and just the 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 psychological battles he was having you know because obviously it's his duty to fix these planes and he was he was a team player he was a strong leader but at the same time once the planes don't they're not returning and these people aren't coming back you hold a lot of guilt and almost blame he blamed himself a lot of the time um yeah and to just yeah to kind of to get to get yourself into trying to understand that, um, and and it just made me like feel so privileged nowadays, and to understand how ins how dedicated these men were, you know, and they had kind of they didn't really think twice about what was what they had to do. They left their lives and they went over there, and to be able yeah. to represent the ground crew and what they were going through and that side of the story and that angle uh, was a real honor. And I just wanted to kind of be able to show a combination of the dedication and work that was being put in by them. But then at the same time, the the effect that it was having, the, the longer the war went on and the, and the more men that didn't return. Absolutely. Barry, for you, um, you know, as Raf said, what really struck me was the camaraderie yeah. between these men, you know, these young kids basically who were thrown into this, they have to grow up yeah. immediately. Um, I wanted to know about the bond that all of you um, created because you can't fake that no. in, a, in a show like this. What no. was it like and how did it translate into the performance? Um, I mean, that all comes down to, you know, Stephen and, and Tom and, and Gary, you know, kind of um, giving us this, I'd say, playground, like with the, bar with the barracks and the airfield and, mm -hmm. you know, this kind of space that we could move in and, you know, and, and with Captain Dale Doy and, and known factually and historically what was right and what, what um, any, any kind of, um, you know, questions we had. But within that space, within these spaces, we, we hung out a lot. Do you know, I'm not only talking about in between takes, but there was a lot of prep involved and there was sure. a lot of, you know, sticking to the time period, like with games and, and you know, card games and baseball. And, um, but there was just this whole uh, camaraderie, as you said, you know, of, everyone like a group of lads wanting to support one another yeah you know you'd right. see these younger actors come in especially for me i'd see these younger actors come in and you know and you could tell they were quite intimidated with this you know maybe their first kind of production and it it's a massive production to walk on to so you wanted to be there to, to support them and, and make them feel at ease as well and and, yeah. and vice versa you know i needed support as well and you know, I, I had lads around me that, that gave me that and then um, were, were always willing to help if i didn't know a certain thing or two Definitely. Yeah. I mean, the support was always there from every angle, whether it was like a, a military advisor or or one of your mates, or your yeah. fellow cast members. But I'd say Captain Dale Dye, like, who really love. instilled that brotherhood yeah. as like, the, he's yeah. got that formula to kind of give that military unit feeling and that from the start trickled down to the end of filming for sure. Yeah. Yeah, he's been doing it a long time. He's yeah. worked on a lot of stuff. That's yeah. for but sure. the, you, you also we also realized how many people were involved in this production. You know, you'd uh -huh. look to your left and there's marches going on over there, and you mightn't have met this crew at all. Like at all, you know what I mean? And it's like there's so much going on. There's so much prep and so much. Do you know what I mean? It was uh, you almost forgot you were you were you were filming or you were you were doing anything. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah. 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 It's absolutely brilliant. You guys, honestly, you both did such a tremendous job in this. And Raph, your dad must be so proud having to pass the mantle to somebody who worked with Steven Spielberg. <laughs> and now look at you. My goodness. Uh, congratulations to the Thank two you. of you. Really. Thank you very Great much. Job. Thank you very Cheers much. Thank you. All the best. Thanks, Thanks, thanks Bonnie. for your time, you guys. Bye-bye.